All right, here is my office temp dot mikemalberg.com project. A little overview here. This displays the current temperature in my office. All right, so here's kind of how it works. We've got an Arduino board that is hooked up to some stuff, including a temperature sensor and a wireless XB shield. Communicates over to this XB receiver wirelessly and goes into the computer which uh, communicates with the service I wrote, which in turn communicates with REST APIs on this server, which the REST APIs put it in this database, and also communicate with this web dashboard website that I wrote. Um, and all this is using uh, MVC4 and uh, web API from Microsoft. And then we communicate out to our clients all right, here's XP, or here's the Arduino board. Uh, we've got our LCD here. Uh, I've got a speaker here, which sounds if it uh, gets too hot, and a light which turns red if it gets uh, too hot. And right here is our little temperature sensor guy, which I'm going to hold down on to try to make it hotter. And then we have our XB shield here which uh, the red portion here is the shield and the blue portion here is the actual chip um, which is the part that communicates wirelessly the shield just sits on top of the Arduino board alright so our temperature is getting hotter and we can see now that it's over 80 degrees and we've turned to red and we're sounding the alarm every 10 seconds alright so let's go see what happens over on our board on our uh, website uh, first of all, we can see the output from our service here, which I have running in console mode, and it's just uh, picking up temperature data and voltage from the uh, sensor. And then over here on our dashboard, we can see the temperature updates every 10 seconds as well. And uh, over here, you see our radial gauge has moved from normal to high. And we've got our high-low average over here for the past 24 hours. And this portion down here is just uh, the last 24 hours worth of temperature. All right. That is our office temp.mikemalberg.com project.